always know that. Hey. You got it roll, here we go. Hey. So how was my life after divorce? To be honest, it's great. <laughs> it is, it's great, it's great, it's great, okay? Oh, but let's no. just get into it. it. Let's just say this, there are a lot of challenges I've faced with the divorce, there's a lot of things that I did not know that I had to learn on my own. Um, is it scary getting a divorce? Yes, it's scary. Um, did I want to get a divorce? Initially, no. Um, when I married him, I did marry him with the intentions of dying with him or dying attached to him, rather. Um, meaning being his wife until I died, but it didn't work out. And, um, yeah, it just, it just, it didn't work out. It didn't work out that way. Am I okay? Yeah. And you will be too. That's, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. That's, child, you will have good days and you will have bad days. It's, it's inevitable. It's life. That's how it works. But will you survive it? Yes, you will survive it. There's no reason to kill yourself. There's no reason to get on drugs. There's no reason to drink yourself away. There's no reason to hoe yourself away. There's no reason to go bonkers, okay? You will make it. You will survive it. You can survive it. You're not going to die. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to, it may feel like it. It may feel like it. But child, let me tell you something. You take every day one step at a time, and you're going to be good. I'm going to try to insert a picture of what I used to look like compared to what I look now, look like now with my divorce. Y'all know who was the one going through hell. Because the person that come out fine after divorce, that's how you know that person was the one being mistreated. When the other person still looked the same, and I ain't being messy, I'm just telling the truth. But that's how you know. That's how you know. Hmm. Well, we gotta move on. Let's just get into it. Let's <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the major changes that I dealt with with the divorce was um I would say the major changes was like finances, moving, figuring out how to do everything on my own, um, paying all the bills by myself. Jeez. I want to say that was, that was like, for me, that was the, the biggest things, um, that I was mainly focused on, which was making sure that I can still give my children a decent life until I'm able to be where I want to be financially. Um, and the other thing was just making sure that my kids are good and making sure that they're safe and they're okay. Um, but moving and finances for me were the major changes in regards to divorce. Um, dating is... <sighs> Let's not even go there, okay? Because I don't want to speak negative, but so far dating has been crappy, okay? Um, dating is different. Was it hard for me to start dating? Um, I honestly, I didn't want to date anybody until my divorce was finalized. I honestly, I didn't want to even like think about it. So. I was like, once that gets situated, then we'll see. But now I'm like in this headspace to where um, I'm just honestly, I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on my kids. I'm focused on my career, honestly. So I'm kind of, I've kind of 
taking a step back or I'm learning to take a step back and I'm learning to just let time take its course and to be patient and to just develop myself so that when he does come, I'm prepared for him. Single mom, how are my kids holding up? My kids are good. They are good. So for all of the mommies and daddies out there that are worried, like, is my kids going to make it? And I'm not making fun of y'all. That's, that's honestly the face that I was making at one point in time. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And I know y'all may not like it. But if you can't tell, I don't care if you don't like it. I'm going to say it because it needs to be said. But I'm going to say it in a way that you could receive it and it's still polite for Stop using your kids as an excuse to stay in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Them kids know what's going on. They know. They know you're not happy. Them, them kids know. Them kids far from stupid. Okay? Stop using them kids as an excuse. Oh, I want my kids to have both of their parents. I, you know what, to be honest, I did too. I did too. But it's better for them to see their parents apart in a happy home than to see their parents together and they seeing that their parents don't even like each other. Don't ruin them kids like that. Stop using them kids as an excuse. You ain't staying for the kids. You probably stand for yourself. But you're not staying for them kids. And I'm going a, I'm to a get off this topic because this is going to be a whole nother topic. And we're going to get into that because, y'all, when I say I went through so many emotions before I actually filed for a divorce, I went through so many emotions. At one point in time, I was like, I'm staying for my kids. Then it went from, I'm staying because I don't have the money. We're going to talk about it. We're we going we gonna to do real talk over on, over on this side of town, okay? We real talk over here. But I'm going to move it along. How are my kids holding up? My kids honestly are great. Um, were they okay at first? No. Um, at first they were not okay. Um, at first they kind of took it hard. They did take it hard. Um, it was a lot of crying. Um, they were really scared because when I left, I moved out of the house, the house that me and him had, and now um, I'm in a two-bedroom townhouse. Um, before, when we were living together, I was in a four-bedroom house. It was a brand new house, too. Um, four-bedroom house, two-and-a-half baths, basement, two living rooms, an additional sitting area. It was a big house. Um, so that was, that was a major change. That, I don't know how I forgot that. That was a major change to go from having all of that to downsizing. That was difficult for me. But I learned the true meaning of being complacent. With what you have. I learned the true definition of it. Because when I tell you. I'm so peaceful. In my two bedroom. Mm, God is good. Okay. He's good. But we gonna move along. Uh, but yeah. My kids are good. Um, every couple of months. I, che I check on them. Meaning like I ask them. Like how are you holding up? What? How do you feel about the divorce? Is there anything bothering you? I asked them those type of questions to make sure that they are okay. And they told me, like, they told me they were good, you know. And I could tell at the beginning they weren't good because they was crying all the time. Um, and then on top of that, you know, moving, we got to make new friends, new school, new neighborhood. So that was stressful on them. But now they are fine. Um, I do know in a lot of moments they do wish mommy and daddy were still in the same household. But my kids understand I, I am happy. My kids understand that I'm okay. And because they understand that I'm happy and I'm okay, I think they're okay with, with knowing that mommy's okay now. They got their moments, you know, where they miss their dad. And I'm like, okay, well, you can call them. 
call him. Tell him to come pick you up. Like, get out. <laughs> Bye. But, I mean, other than that, yeah, they're fine. Like, we put so much pressure on these kids. Like, my kids are not going to be up. Child, your kids going to be good. Leave. It's you. It's you. You don't want to leave yet. And that's okay. That's okay. That is okay. Um, But don't don't use those children as your reason why. Okay? Don't do that. Because it ain't the kids that you stand for. It's if that it's makes you. sense. Um, and you know, with counseling and things like that, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. As long as there is a line of communication that's open where you as a parent, we're able to receive what our children are saying to us when they're expressing their feelings. As long as we listen and we keep that line of communication open, I think children will be able, I think the children will be okay. Um, I try not, to, I, I shelter my children, but I try not to shelter them to the point to where I'm like, that's none of your business. Um, and cause that's kind of how I was raised. Like you got to stay in a child's, now don't get me wrong. I do believe stay in a child's place. Okay. But at the same time, our kids have feelings. Our kids grow up to be people. They're people. They're, a, they're miniature adults. Okay. They're going to grow up. And if you don't care for them now, and if we don't show them now and talk to them now, how you think they're going to be as an adult, okay? So I've learned and I'm learning to allow my children to freely express themselves in a respectable manner to where, you know, they're not disrespecting mommy or their dad by expressing their feelings, but for them to be seen and heard and understood. So with that being said, because I've created an environment, and I'm not speaking on what he's done, because I don't know what he's done. Um, I'm not in his house, and I don't ask, because his house has nothing to do with my house. But as far as me and mine, okay, I talk to my children, and I ask them, you know, and I keep that line of communication open, and I think that I really do believe that that line of communication has um, really helped our relationship. So uh, financial support. Woo! Okay, let's just say if you are not, and I mean, you could be a multimillionaire or 20 million, 30 million, 10, 5, 4, whatever. You could have multi-millions and still not be prepared to handle everything on your own financially because still... Even if you're a multimillionaire, you're still living to a certain standard. And to go from having all of that and then you may not have so much, there's still a big difference. So financially, um, how am I holding up financially? Of course, I can always use more. Let's just, let's just start there. I can always use more, okay? And that's why I'm working. Because that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to the more, okay? The more, the better, okay? No, but um, financially, you know, God, God is amazing, y'all. God takes care of me. God takes care of me and he takes care of my kids. And I am, like, being transparent and honest, I am not on... Um, I don't get assistance from the government. I don't get any type of support from the government, the state, nada. I don't get nothing, okay? Um, and he's supposed to pay. Supposed to. Um, but I have learned how to rely on me and rely on God. I will say that um, because I've learned that you can't always count on people to be adults. People you can't always count on people to do what they're supposed to do. And regardless, if somebody wants to do what they're supposed to do, you need to make sure that you are okay if that person doesn't. So I've learned how to go to God and how to let that person do whatever they're doing and I've learned to just shut up 
You can't control another adult. And I trust God to keep me and my kids together. I trust God to provide for us financially. Because, y'all, when I tell y'all it was a story just for me to move here. And y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. Or, I mean, y'all let me know if y'all want to hear that story. Because I will post it. I will, let me, yeah. Yes, yeah, so let me know if y'all want a story on how I left, how it got, like, how everything got lined up. Because when I tell y'all, I didn't have nothing. I lost everything. Child, I lost everything. And that's one thing about with divorce. Sometimes you got to be willing to lose everything in order to get better. Is everything better right now? It's better in a sense of mental. It's better in a sense of peace. Do I have everything I want financially? No. But am I suffering? No, I am not. So God is still good. He's still awesome and he's still providing. I may not have the four bedroom house anymore, but I will have one again one day. And it's going to be bigger and better. I already know it. But anywho, um, so finances, finances is hard. Because, you know, when it's two heads, you know, it's two heads are better than one. You know, you may not miss certain things. So, me making sure every bill is paid. Lights, gas, uh, water, car no, car insurance, rent, Jesus. You know, all of that, phone bill, <laughs> internet, you know, can't, should I continue, Okay. And then I got to pay for lunch for the kids. Like, what are we doing? Insurance, health insurance, dental. It's costly. It's costly. Okay. So, is it a lot? Yes. 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 It's a lot. It's a lot. But will you survive it? Yes. Yes, you. I will survive. As long as I know how to love, I know I'm still alive. Let me stop playing. <laughs> no, seriously, will you survive it? Yes, you can. You can make it. You don't have... Look, I am doing it, okay? I am doing it. And y'all, I ain't doing it on my strength alone. It's God. He getting me through it. I'm doing it. We doing it. We doing it. Don't, don't stay if you miserable over no dang on finances. Let it go. It ain't worth it. So what he buy you red bottoms? So what he buy you Gucci? Baby girl, live your life. You're miserable, boo. So, so, so what she give you a place to stay? Get out, sir. Sir, sir, sir. It's time to go. Leave. Leave, okay? Leave. Word and the effect on my mental health. So mentally right now, am I doing great? Am I okay? Yes, I am. I am so happy. I am at peace. Um, um, y'all, like I can I can honestly say I have never been as happy. This is the happiest I have ever been in my life. Um, and I'm grateful. I'm extremely grateful. And it's funny because with the divorce, I learned how to appreciate a lot of things. I've learned how to pre appreciate a lot of things. And the, the main things that I've learned how to appreciate, you can't buy. Like peace, joy happiness, comfort, love, like God has truly brought me a long way. And, you know, it did take a little bit of time for me to get to get here and get to this place of comfort. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, y'all, y'all, I hated that. I hated that man. Oh, I hated him. I was like, don't nobody say his name around me. I don't want, don't say nothing. Like, I hated that man. I'm not going to lie. I hated him. But now I'm at a point where he don't bother me. I don't care to see him. He don't, he don't make my skin boil. Well, no, my boil, my 
blood boil. He don't make my blood my blood boil. He don't he don't phase me. And I can see him. I can be around him. I can speak. I cannot speak. And I can be okay. Because now it did take me time to get there. So it's not going to happen overnight. It's it's not going to happen overnight. You have to give yourself time because you're going to go through those emotions. You're going to go through the emotions of, I can't believe this person did this to me. You're going to go through the emotions of the embarrassment. You're going to go through emotions of failure. You're going to go through the emotions of um, you feeling offended, you feeling like the victim, you feeling like the bad guy. Like you're going to go through so many emotions with divorce but in the end you will you will make peace with it you will figure out a way to make peace with it and that will make you be okay y'all I'm my smile is not fake it's real like when I tell you you don't have to do give it time give yourself time and right now that's what I'm in I'm in that time process so I've already been through the phase of I hate him I hate him and now I'm in a phase to where like what's next what's new like I'm just I'm excited so it's okay if you will be okay you will heal you will move on you can love again you can love freely you can love openly but give yourself time let yourself go through those stages because each stage has a lesson it has a healing process it has something that you need to learn about you it has something that you need to learn about people you'll figure out what you like what you don't yeah I'm finding out a lot of stuff I don't like and I'm finding out a lot of stuff I do like and sometimes I'm like, I'll be surprised me. I'll be like, Brittany, girl, calm down, okay? Calm, you know? So, I mean, let yourself go through those phases. Let, it's okay. You don't, you do not have to be ashamed. You don't. You do not. Don't live in shame. But if y'all like these conversations, y'all like these tips, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms at Brit Brand Styles, TikTok, Facebook, IG, especially IG. Your girl need to get a following up, okay? Help help a sister out. Go to IG and follow me. Thank you. Like a video, comment, because I reply back. I'm not mean. You see all my teeth? I'm not mean. I'm not mean. But um, if you guys found this video helpful, do not forget to share it. Um, again, I am posting this video to help somebody become free and to let them know that they will be okay. You can survive divorce. You can survive it. You can survive it. And I am living proof of surviving it. So y'all make sure if y'all really enjoyed this, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what topic you want me to talk about next because I got a lot of topics coming. I got more divorce topics. I have um, topics about my childhood. Y'all know because I've talked about it on my TikTok platform with dealing with rape and molestation and all of that. And I'm going to be talking about those videos. I'm going to be talking about those situations on my YouTube channel going into full detail because I can't do all of that on TikTok. But I can do that here with y'all. So if y'all want to know those um, how I learned how to forgive people and move past it because you know your girl is a public speaker. And it is a passion of mine to help people become free in their life and to release that burden, release that burden of guilt and shame, release it off of you. That is not the way that God intended for you to live. It is unfortunate that, you know, sometimes the bad things happen. It is very unfortunate. But just because it happened, that does not mean that your life stopped there, okay? So my motto is, I am a broken person healing the broken, okay? Or I once was a broken person looking now to heal the world. So if you like this video, as always, don't forget to like, a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the upload from your girl. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye.